Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rev back with another video and today we have top five defenders in Rainbow Six Siege. Before I get into it, this video is more for someone who is new to the game rather than an experienced player. So if you've been playing for a while and you know all the operators, this might not be the video for you. But if you're a new player, use this video as a tool as who to start off with when playing Rainbow Six Siege. And with that, let's get right into the video. At the number five spot, we have Clash. Clash is a three armor, one speed character. Now Clash is a unique operator. She's the only defending operator in the game that has a shield. But unlike attacking operators, she cannot use her sidearm. She has to put it on her back and switch to her sidearm. Clash's two secondary weapons are the P10C handgun and the SPS MG9 machine pistol. In almost any case, you're better off using her handgun rather than her machine pistol. It's much more accurate and does a lot more DPS. With her gadget, you have a choice of an impact grenade or barbed wire. Now Clash's unique gadget is her CCE shield, otherwise known as her crowd control electro shield. And what this is, is it is a charged ability that she can activate at any time her shield is out, which will shock any enemy in front of her, which will slow them and do small amounts of damage and I'm not talking about a lot of damage guys this is three damage per second something else I should mention is this ability can shock multiple people at once think of the wonder waffle from Call of Duty zombies the electricity passage from the first enemy to the last and will shock and slow them all clash was mainly designed as a support operator she's meant to gain Intel for the rest of the defending team finding out enemies locations and giving her team as much Intel as possible to win the round now Clash is a DLC operator, so that means she goes for a hefty 25,000 renown in the store. And while she may be more expensive than any of the vanilla operators, she's a very good operator and I hope you guys check her out. And with that, let's get on to number four. At the number four spot, we have Ella. Ella is a three speed, one armor character. Her main primaries are the Scorpion Evo 3A1 submachine gun, and the FO-12 shotgun. Ella only has one secondary, the RG-15 handgun. Her secondary gadgets are a choice of barbed wire or a deployable shield. Her unique gadget is the Grismont Mine. When using Ella, her primaries are both very different but also very good. But it's had countless nerfs making it do a lot more recoil and a lot less damage. And while at short range it can take out enemies really quickly, at long range its recoil is really hard to control. Her shotgun is also a semi-automatic shotgun. I don't use it very much because I'm not that good with shotguns, but make sure you guys check it out if you are an avid shotgun user because it is very powerful. Ella's RG15 handgun is also a very good secondary because it has a red dot sight allowing much better accuracy when aiming. Getting to Ella's unique gadget, which is the Grismont Mine. These are proximity mines that can cuss enemies when they go in a specific radius of the gadget, which will impair hearing and cause a dizzying effect. These mines are very powerful when placed underneath windows or doors because when the attacking operators come to clear out a room, they get concussed and can be taken out very easily. Ella is a roaming operator and is very good at close quarters. When I play Ella, I mostly try to flank and come up behind enemies. Her scorpion's recoil pattern tends to bounce from side to side as it rises. So coming up behind enemies tends to work out really well. Ella is also a DLC character, so she does go for 25,000 renown, but she's honestly worth it, she's great. Don't let that hefty cost refrain you from checking her out because she is amazing. Overall, Ella is one of the strongest operators, and although she has seen some nerfs in recent times, she's still one of the strongest operators in the game, and so make sure you check her out. And with that, let's get on to number three. At the number three spot, we have Vigil. Vigil is a three speed, one armor operator. Vigil's primary weapons are the K1A submachine gun and the BOSG 12.2 shotgun. His secondaries are the C75 auto machine pistol and the SMG 12 machine pistol. His secondary gadget is either a bulletproof camera or impact grenades, and his unique gadget is the ERC-7 cloak. When using Vigil, you're better off using his K1A submachine gun rather than his shotgun. His shotgun is a two-shot shotgun that can shoot at very long ranges, but his submachine gun is very low recoil and does a lot of damage, so you're better off using that in almost any circumstance. When it comes to his secondaries, his SMG-12 machine pistol was regarded as one of the best guns in the game when he was released. If you can recall back to when Smoke had his ACOG on his SMG-11, it was kind of like that, where Smoke used it as his primary rather than his secondary. And while the SMG-12 was not released with an ACOG, thank god, it had twice the amount of ammo that an SMG-11 had, and it hit just as hard. But in the most recent patch, Ubisoft increased the recoil on the SMG-11 and the SMG-12, making them almost impossible to use in anything but short-ranged encounters. This update was a long time coming, and I know some people didn't like it, but honestly, those guns were kind of broken, so I'm glad to see them have a new recoil pattern. Getting back to Vigil, it's kind of a toss-up between using his two machine pistols, 
The C75 is more like a Glock 18, where it's like it looks like an actual pistol and it's just fully auto, while the SMG 12 looks more like a small submachine gun. They're both unique in certain ways, so make sure you check them both out and try to see which one works better for you. But these are just secondary, so it's not the most important thing in the world. Getting onto his gadget, his ERC-7 cloak makes him invisible to drones and cameras when he activates his ability. This ability is a cooldown ability, exactly like Kavera's silent step, in which the more you use the ability, the longer it takes to recharge. In low levels of play, where droning's not really that big of a deal, his ability may not be that useful. But in high levels of ranked and pro league play, Vigil's ability is so crucial because really good players know specific locations that defenders may not even notice that they're there. So when Vigil is trying to roam, as he usually does, using his cloak can be very, very powerful. Vigil is another DLC operator, meaning he has 25,000 renown, but Vigil is a super strong character, arguably one of the best in the game. Make sure you check him out. And with that, let's get on to number two. At the number two spot, we have Valkyrie. Valkyrie is a two armor, two speed. Her primary weapons are the MPX machine gun and the Spaz-12 shotgun. Her secondary is the D-50 handgun, better known as the Desert Eagle. Her secondary gadgets are a choice of a deployable shield or a nitro cell. And her unique gadget is the Black Eye Camera. When it comes to using Valkyrie, her primary weapons are very different from each other. The Spaz-12 is arguably the best shotgun in the game. Being semi-automatic, having very good range and very good damage, this shotgun is known to take out multiple enemies in a single shot. Her MPX, on the other hand, does very low damage, having almost no recoil at all. When it comes to her secondary weapon, the Desert Eagle packs a punch, but it comes with a price. This gun has the highest recoil in the game. It can take out almost any enemy in the game with just two shots. And to be honest, I'm terrible with this handgun. I really don't like it that much. I favor more of an accurate pistol, but I've seen some nasty stuff with this handgun. Getting on to her gadget, the Black Eye Camera is arguably one of the best gadgets in the game. As a defender, you know that you have defending cameras that are around the map. These never change in location, they're always at the same spots, usually have two or three on the outside and around five to nine on the inside. And as you become more and more familiar with the game and more familiar with each map, these cameras become more of a target practice than anything. But the thing about Valkyrie's cameras is she can throw them anywhere on the map. These cameras can go on the ground, on a wall, on the ceiling, on a couch, practically anywhere. You can throw these outside after the preparation phase, and that is why this gadget is so strong. That is why Valkyrie is so high on this list. She has very good guns, and her gadget is amazing. Even if you do not like Valkyrie's guns, you cannot deny how good this gadget is. It provides so much more intel for your team than almost any other gadget in the game. And if used correctly, Valkyrie can be one of the best operators in Rainbow Six Siege. Valkyrie is also a DLC operator, so she does come with the 25,000 renown price tag. But out of all the DLC operators, she's probably the best. You get the most bang for your buck, if you know what I mean. So make sure you guys check her out, and let's get on to the number one spot. At the number one spot, we have Jaeger. Jaeger is a three speed, one armor. His primary weapons are the M870 shotgun and the 416C carbine assault rifle. His secondary is the P12 handgun. His secondary gadgets are a choice of a deployable shield or barbed wire. And his gadget is the active defense system, better known as the ADS. And before I get into anything, people may think I'm biased because Jaeger is my favorite character in Rainbow Six Siege. I've had over 170 hours played with just this operator. And he's been my main on defense, since I was level 40. Jaeger is the true roamer. In 99% of the time, you will see people running his 416C assault rifle as it has amazing damage and very low recoil. It's by far my favorite gun in the game. His P12 handgun is very strong. It has a 16 round magazine with one in the chamber and it's very low recoil allows it to be used at very long distances. Jaeger's unique gadget, the active defense system is also a very good gadget. The active defense system is a gadget that can place on floors or walls that intercepts attacking grenades as they come into its radius. Jaeger gets three of these and they can each take out two grenades. Meaning if you place them all correctly, you can take out a maximum of six grenades. This gadget can be so important for objectives. Think about it, an attacking team is trying to close in on the objective. They see someone behind a deployable shield. Maybe they see someone behind cover. They can't throw a flashbang at that player. They can't throw a grenade at that player. They can't throw smoke grenades to clear out the room. They can't shoot an ash charge at the deployable shield. And let me tell you, it frustrates players when they throw a grenade into an objective and it gets zapped immediately, not once but twice. It strips gadgets away from players so quickly, 
making them easier to take out in a firefight. Jaeger is a vanilla operator, meaning he was released when the game was released. Depending on how many operators you've purchased in the GSG-9 unit, his price can vary from only 500 renown to 2000 renown. He's really easy to learn, but hard to master. And in my opinion, he is the best defensive operator in Rainbow Six Siege to date. And there you have it guys, that is the video. Did you like the video? Make sure you put a like on it. If you disagree with the list, make sure you let me know down in the comments. Don't just dislike, I wanna hear everyone's opinion. Say you thought Bandit should have been on the list. Put it down in the comments. Hey, I think Bandit should have been in the list because he has one, two, and three. And again, thank you so much for all the support on this series. The series has done wonders for my channel. And make sure you guys let me know in the comments what you want me to do for my next top five. Also, big shout out to Dummy for being in this video. He helped me record for over an hour and a half, and I think he deserves the shout out. He's a good friend of mine. He doesn't have a YouTube. I'll plug his... <laughs> And while he doesn't have a YouTube, I'll plug his Twitter in the description. So if you guys want to go follow him there, his tweets are, there's something else. But if you want to go check him out, he helped me a lot. So thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Again, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Peace. We the good fellas stacking that dinero. You ain't heard about us yet, bitch. You better get the memo. Had this shit on lock before we even dropped the demo. Dead man walking, still falling like a mellow. We are not real, bitch. This life of facade when I step.